On this edition of 305 News, Miami unites for one day for Jackson. City of Miami awarded $60.35 million grant for urban revitalization project. Groundbreaking of West End Park enhancements. Venture Miami Hiring Fair connects talent with opportunities. Welcome to a vibrant edition of our 305 News, bringing you the latest happenings in the Magic City. The city came together to celebrate One Day for Jackson, an initiative aimed at raising funds and awareness for the Jackson Health System. This event, dedicated to supporting cutting-edge treatments and facilities, directed all raised funds towards advancing medical technologies at Jackson. Gathering all of our employees here in the lobby of the MRC to promote One Day for Jackson, to support the incredible cause they have and the absolute gem they are for our community. And it gives the employees a chance to either do a one-time donation, do it as a payroll deduction, but support the mission, support the growth of Jackson and its role in our community, especially those that are underserved. Moreover, the City of Miami proudly announced receiving $60.35 million grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation's Reconnecting Communities and Neighborhoods grant program. This grant will support the Connecting Miami I-395 Underdeck and Heritage Trail project, aim at revitalizing urban spaces and enhancing connectivity within the community. Once completed, the Underdeck and Heritage Trail will be a true blessing that will awaken the best in Miamians. Your family and my family will be able to experience Miami as it should be, as one. Turning to another development, District 4 Commissioner Manolo Reyes, alongside the Department of Parks and Recreation and the Office of Capital Improvements, celebrated the commencement of the West End Park Enhancements Project. In addition, Commissioner Reyes, in collaboration with the Department of Resiliency and Public Works, proudly announced the initiation of a drainage improvement project at the intersection of Gold Star Family Memorial Park. Embarking on a tour, District 2 Commissioner Pardo explores the innovative Windward Works project. This development combines art with affordable housing, enriching the vibrant culture of the Windward Arts District. We're doing a tour of Windward Works, and this is one of the projects that OmniCRA has committed to. We basically put $15.9 million in this mixed-use development. It goes from 30% AMI to 80% AMI, affordable housing in the urban core so important to the city of Miami. We hope to do many more projects just like this. Furthermore, the Venture Miami Hiring Fair connected talented individuals with leading companies in the tech industry, fostering employment opportunities within Miami's tech community. District 5 Commissioner Christine King hosted the 19th annual Reclaim the Dream Candlelight Memorial Service and Gospel Concert, commemorating the 56th anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination featuring powerful performances and tributes to honor his legacy. It is the annual Reclaim the Dream Candlelight Memorial and Gospel Concert. While we have come a long way, there is still more to be achieved, and this is our way of doing so. Celebrating the strength of women in Miami, Mayor Frances Suarez and the City of Miami executive staff hosted a special Women's History Month luncheon. It feels great to appreciate the women in our life that are working hard every single day uh, to make our life better and Women Appreciation Month. Uh, and it's just exciting to be here with my wife and some of the commissioners and members of the uh, administration. District 1 Commissioner Gabela commemorated the groundbreaking for the construction of a brand new public basketball court at Loomis Park. So what we're doing is we're going to renew the basketball court, a positive thing for our district. Uh, so again, like I always say, so our district knows and our residents know that we're working for them on their behalf. City of Miami has not forgotten about them. Additionally, District 4 Commissioner Manolo Reyes celebrated the Spectrum Fair, providing families with resources and information to support individuals with autism and varying abilities. And now, concluding 305 News, we bring you the vibrant Easter celebrations echoing throughout the city. Commissioner Joe Carroyo hosting the District 3 Easter celebration, complete with activities, entertainment, and a visit from the Easter Bunny. District 1 Commissioner Miguel Angel Gabela and District 5 Commissioner Christine King also hosted successful Easter community events, fostering unity and prosperity within their neighborhoods. Thanks for joining 305 News. Remember to follow, share, like, and subscribe for more Miami goodness. See you next month.